ahead and show you the Towski Valley where earlier this afternoon we had the sun out, but then you can see the cloud deck come down and we are starting to see a few snow showers develop and we'll see more and more of this happen throughout the northern mountains tonight and out to the west, especially where we have winter weather advisories in place for tonight, tomorrow and tomorrow evening before things quiet down. West slopes of the northern mountains involved in this southwestern Colorado, north of Durango and Pagosa Springs and also out onto the west slopes of the Sacramento Mountains, where we're likely to see three to six inches of snow, at least in the mountains, maybe a little bit more than that. We are seeing snow right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Hang in there, Mark. I don't know, you guys. Let us know when you need I don't know if I can do it. If you need us to tag team, you know we're going to jump uh -huh. in. I know. If I let you guys in, it's like a Wally Pip situation. <laughs> I'm never getting it back. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. 31 degrees in the metro area. <laughs> South southeast winds at five miles an hour. I have no idea what happened right there. 20s and 30s off to the north. 40s around the Farmington area and down to the south. 20s, 30s, and even some low 40s around Deming. Looking at satellite and radar, I've got a little moisture coming in right now, but the core of the storm still back to our west. This comes in late tonight and tomorrow morning. So that's when our best chance will be probably after midnight and then through about 9 a.m. to get some rain and snow here. Mainly snow, though, because we have so much cold air in place. So if we're going to see anything here in the metro, could be anything from a trace all the way up to a couple of inches of snow as this thing slides on through. But there's no question the west facing slopes are going to be more favored to get most of the action here, especially off to the north and to the west throughout the day. Tomorrow we'll start to see all this stuff diminish. Actually, the weekend looks pretty good. We have a nice window Saturday and Sunday to pick up partly sunny skies. Some spot snow will be possible, especially over southwestern Colorado, but less action across most of New Mexico. And then we get in to early next week. And yes, another storm system. And another cold front comes in across the northeast. Those two combine to give us the shot at another round of snow, especially across the north. Now, as far as accumulations from this system go over the next 24 hours or so, you're not going to see a whole lot down here into the metro area. Again, inch or so, we'd be doing well out of this deal. But again, anytime you send a disturbance across the state, you always have that shot here, even in the city, to get an inch or two of snow. And because it's so cold, it would stick to the roads and become a problem. But better chances up to the north were one to three inches is more likely in some of the lower slopes and a little more than that, I think, high in the northern mountains. And then outside Chama, we're looking at the possibility of you now six plus inches of snow. And north of Durango, Pagosa Springs, we're looking at about eight, ten inches of snow as a possibility. And the winds, they will be a factor across northeastern New Mexico for tomorrow especially on the east slopes of the northern mountains out toward areas like Las Vegas, where wind gusts tomorrow afternoon will be 45 miles an hour. The good news, the winds come down a bit on Saturday, or at least the area of concern does. It narrows to along the east slopes of the northern mountains. 36, Pagosa tomorrow, 38 in Durango. Snow and that chance at snow continues through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Northwest, partly cloudy, scattered mix out there. 41 in Grants, 44 in Farmington. But this area of the state, again, all under winter weather advisories for one to three inches of snow overnight tonight. And again, Kamado's got a shot at getting some snow overnight tonight, a few inches and less so around places like Socorro and TRC as far as accumulating snow goes, but snow showers definitely during the overnight hours. 50 in Roswell, 45 in Lovington, 45 in Fort Sumner. Could see some spot showers here into tomorrow. Northeast, it's going to be windy tomorrow. West winds 20 to 30, gusting to 40 miles an hour. And temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Meanwhile, northern mountains will start it off in the teens and single digits, and then we'll get that snow overnight into tomorrow, especially the first half of the day. East mountains temperatures in the 30s and 40s with west winds 15 to 25 and 2 to 4 inches of snow possible in the east mountains. Lesser here in the metro area. Again, we get an inch or two. I'd be fired up for that. And then things quiet down tomorrow afternoon, Saturday and Sunday. Weather looks pretty good.